It is very, very exciting. Um, I personally have been involved in spinal cord injury research, transplantation for 20 years. For the first time ever, we are seeing real positive results. We have demonstrated safety before in our studies, but no significant improvement. We are seeing, we believe, significant improvement. He wasn't able to breathe on his own. Um, he couldn't move his arms and legs. He had no sensation in his arms and legs. He um, was basically um, paralyzed uh, from the neck down. I feel a lot better since my accident. I would definitely say a lot better because now I have grip strength and I can do stuff such as open a bottle of soda, feed myself as opposed to before I was relying all on my parents so I feel more independent now before the injection Lucas could shrug his shoulders um, and uh, barely move his arms, but not much more than that. There's no reason to not look forward in the same way now that I had before all of this happened. I'm looking forward to, to driving again, be able to do that no problem. You know, it's, it's a bright future and I can see him getting off on his own and living by himself and taking care of himself. Before the surgery, I don't think that could have possibly have happened. I think he would have been dependent on somebody forever. And he's gonna have his independence. <laughs>